I'll show you how to unyellow your shoe soles. I was scrolling through YouTube and I found this sweet video, but is it a hack or is it straight up cap? I had no idea what it was. There was nothing in the description. I went to the comment section and they said that it's actually hydrogen peroxide and baking soda. And here's that one comment that said, is baking soda and hydrogen peroxide? And then the dude who reposted it did confirm it by saying, yes, sir. Welcome to my channel. I'm HJ. Please like and subscribe and enjoy the video. I'll be showing you how to unyellow your shoes first method, baking soda and peroxide, but check out how gross this is, ill. So the main focus will be the Air Force ones. I actually did really clean both pairs of shoes before even doing this, but you'll take your baking soda and then you'll take your hydrogen peroxide, you'll mix it together so that it makes a thicker paste. As I was doing this, I realized it was way too thin, so it needs to be a lot thicker, so I added some more baking soda. Make sure that it is thick enough. You're going to apply it and then you're going to put saran wrap on top of it. I believe as long as the mixture is moist, it'll keep on being effective. If it dries out, I don't think it's as effective then. And here it's too thin again, so I had to add a little bit more baking soda to it. And to see if there is a true difference, I'm only doing the toes of the shoes, but once that's done, go ahead, wrap it up with saran wrap. 48 hours later. If you want to do this yourself, I highly recommend going outside. I actually put plastic wrap onto my desk so that all the peroxide and baking soda did not get all over everything. And then I could just throw away that plastic wrap that had all the junk in it. But I figured let's just go outside. It'll be a lot easier. After spraying these off with water, I realized that I just wasted my time because there is like no improvement. You can see it is slightly whiter, but it's maybe 5% better. If you zoom in here, you can kind of see, yes, it is better, but ultimately it's really not worth it. It was so minimal that I consider it a fail. Since I have this on hand, I might as well try Soul Bright. We'll see how it goes. I'm using an old paintbrush to apply the mixture. It needs to be thick enough, so I decided to pour it straight on. Probably not the best idea in hindsight. Comment right now if you have used Salon Care 40 or if you prefer the Soul Bright instead. I would love to hear what you guys think or do you think I just totally jacked up doing the peroxide and baking soda thing? All the links are in the description if you do want to try it out. Once you're done, go ahead, wrap it up in some type of plastic wrap and put it in a sunny spot. And yes, I did put this on top of baby wipes so I did not bleach my deck accidentally. Final results. Now, if you look at that back heel, I did not cover that with saran wrap. It is a little bit dirty there, which is why you definitely want to cover it with the plastic wrap. I could already tell that the oxidation is removed it is like completely perfect. I'm going to go ahead, hose it off, and you guys can see too. It looks like a brand new pair of shoes. And I wore these shoes for a full year. It's still dirty there, but a full year. And look, it's like straight up perfect now. If you no longer want to look like a crusty basic white girl, get Soul Bright or maybe Salon Care 40. It's going to look so much better. Do you guys see this? Soul Bright and Salon Care 40 both are like 12 bucks. All the information is linked in the description below. What do you guys think? Was this a huge win or was it a fail? Should I have used Salon Care 40 instead? Let me know. Love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy creating.